you doing? It took me 60 years to look this good. Come on. Ah. Hi, welcome back to our channel for another episode. We're gonna be talking about how to save money on the road. And other places, actually. These are all, these are the tips we use. Numero uno, collect cards at grocery stores. You only have to spend like a dollar at pack and save and you get six cents off a liter. And one mistake that we've made is we go to fuel up and then we realize that we didn't go shopping <laughs> and we don't have any receipts. A lot of them won't let you use them at different locations. I think only on the South Island is where you can, you can get a pack and save card specifically and then you can collect more points and get bigger discounts, like up to 10 cents or so. So on to our next point, doing house sitting. That's one thing I didn't know about until I met Jo. She um, got me onto it. The website's called kiwihousesitters.com and put it here how much the price was. People that are going away for hol on holidays, they usually need like their pets looking after. So or garden or, uh, or, or their gardens. We just finished one. They had an Airbnb going on and. Uh, we were looking after the Airbnb and then we actually even got a little bit of money from that. You get free laundry. Um, a lot of times they have detergent that they are willing to let you use. Usually they'll let you eat their food, especially if it's like fridge stuff that's going to go off. So usually you can get some free food out of it. If you get lucky, sometimes you get paid if you're doing some work there. But um, yeah, you have a place to stay and it's for free. and. Um, every place that we've been, or well, except bar one, has been lovely. Our third tip, search online for coupon codes. So if we were ever getting a craving for some type of fast food, which was usually pizza, like um, Domino's or Pizza Hut. Look online for coupon codes so we can hopefully get something cheaper or sometimes you can get like a garlic bread for free or just something along those lines. Some that will work, some that won't, some sort of yeah. expired, or some just don't work at all. So you just gotta try putting a fair few in, and usually you can get one or two to work, so. Our fourth point. We ended up staying at a hostel for three weeks. It was quite cheap, and they also have free books, and free items, clothes, food, Things that people leave behind and don't want anymore. The place that we stayed at was like 18 bucks a night or something like that. Yeah, it was quite cheap. Each, which is cheaper than a campground. Uh, next tip would be uh, tracking your spending. We, we use an app called Splitwise. Pretty much everything that we buy onto Splitwise app. And it splits it up. When you input into Splitwise, it's nice because you don't you can really control what you put on there so you can write that it is fuel that you're spending money on groceries that you're spending money on and then it doesn't have to be the exact number because sometimes i want to buy something a little bit extra that costs more money and jack has nothing to do with it so i just take it off the bill and i calculate it all and i input it and you can take pictures of the receipts and everything which is great so you can always go back because sometimes i do things wrong <laughs> <laughs> Jack's like, just what do you? Few, what did you do? You were times. you were dripping me, and I'm like, well, I mean, you gotta pay attention because I'm not, I'm not a mathematician. Okay, <laughs> but yeah, it's great for that because it'll just break it all down for you, and then it'll show you month to month how much money that you've spent. And I think if you pay a little bit more money, it'll break it down for you what specifically and what area that you've spent money on. I also use an app called uh, mint.com which is a American website I believe and I'm not sure if it's available to everyone. So it like shows you how much like you'd be spending on food, how much you're spending yes. on gas, how much you're spending on this and so it's like gives you a nice Everything. breakdown especially if you're if you go back and review it and you're like, oh, I spent how much on uh, yeah. on food or this how much on gas, you can sort of like, oh, okay, I want to change change the way I'm sort of traveling a little bit more. Tip number six would be going to farmer's markets and buying local. There's a lot of times we come across some honesty booths where little store on the side of the road, there's no one there, but they usually have like 
avocados or just any sort of fresh fruit or anything like that and they're really cheap usually like 50 cents for an avocado or something and you just drop off the money and take your avos which is um great because you're supporting locally and great because you get nice cheap fruit and veggies as well and honesty makes the world go round you have people that work at like the orchids and stuff they drive their car to like somewhere in the middle of the of the street like a nature strip and park up there and they're selling their fresh 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 fruit and veg um for quite cheap as well so someone was selling 10 or 11 avocados in a bag and i just i spent five dollars on that if you go to stores like countdown, countdown yeah that's usually where i buy my avocados if there's no market you buy the bags it's called the odd bunch yeah it just says it just says the odd bunch on the bag and it's not specific to avocados it's because they're not the, the perfect size or the perfect shape or they don't look great is why they can sell them cheaper which like they still taste the same so that's fine by us like yeah we don't care about the look of it can't remember tip number seven maybe <laughs> apps <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah so there's an app called Gatsby and people go into the app and they will update different locations the fuel price and then we can search by area to find which store has the cheapest gas price you can use a pack and save voucher for z fuel on top of that price anyway other apps we spent three dollars on wiki camps i don't know why it seems like so much money to spend on an app but for an app like wiki camps which is so thorough really gives a good idea of what campsites are are good and like and the ones that are just not not the best because we've read reviews through so, of some of them and we get there and we're like oh we're hoping for the best and it's like it'll say don't go there it's sketchy and that it, it's quite accurate yeah there's other ones that are free like camper mate the three dollars that you pay for it is well worth the camper mate it's a free app doesn't seem to have as many of the free camps on there. Yeah. Showering. Yeah. Tip number eight would Tip number be... Eight, showering. Showering, you're trying to use, like, we try and use beach showers as much as possible. This is probably more of a summertime thing, but um, when we go to the beach, most of the main beaches have cold showers there, so we'll go for a swim in the beach and then use the uh, public showers. I actually don't know if it's frowned upon, but we go out there. We're soaping up. Like, yeah. Sometimes there's a lot of people at the beach. I mean, if you went anywhere else, it would be three or four dollars for each of us. So we are saving six to eight dollars. The next best thing would be, so we go to like the local pool. Um, Just search up aquatic center. Yeah. And a lot of times they will let you go in for an unlimited hot shower. For three dollars or sometimes we pay an extra and go for a swim in the pool first you can also try going to gyms get a trial and that means that you can get a workout and a free shower we haven't done that yet because they need proof of address a lot of times which we don't and to be honest, we don't shower that often. When we do, we just take a cold shower, so. The next tip is using trash that you already have to put trash into. Confusing. Yeah. For example, we buy bread and the bread comes in a plastic bag. So whenever we finish the bread, we use that as another bin bag. And that way we buy less, we buy less trash bags and it's waste that is already going to be waste use that instead the van doesn't marinate in garbage i mean nobody likes hot the smell of hot garbage it actually is a little bit tough finding just trash bins to throw for some reason it's they won't let you just like throw a whole bag of trash into a bin so if you collect it just a little bit at a time and then throw it in the trash as you go it's easier and more envi environmentally friendly it's a win-win all around next tip would be websites like bookme.com or first table bookme is definitely great for a sort of activities 
that you want to do that are adventure sort of orientated. So sort of like skydiving or kayaking or anything like that. It's sort of you go on bookme.com and it will come up with sometimes 60% off. The thing about it is that you have to plan ahead a little bit. Look a week before you like get here maybe or something or a week before you get to an area. Or even find a, out the date. At least a day before just because there are certain time slots that are cheaper. Yeah, some would be like at a 60% and then another time slot might be like a 30% yeah. and like it just changes. And first table is you pretty much just get 50% off your bill for any restaurant. You just have to pay, I think it's $5 or $10 to actually book it. And then when you go there, your, your bill's 50% off. The time for the dinner is usually 5, it, 5.30, 6, so like... It's the first table, yeah. that's why it's called first, first dinner table. Dinner reservation. The one thing they have to be careful about is a lot of times they'll, they won't include alcohol. So the last tip is um, going to thrift stores. Or op shops. Salvos, Salvation Army. You can get a lot of items. They will have like a $1 bin or a 50 cent bin and you can get even free items at some of them, which is awesome. I bought dresses for $4 that I absolutely love. There's plenty of name brand items that are much better quality even than what you would buy at a place like Kmart or Warehouse or same with um, like books. We went and bought books the other day. Jack thought he was going to pay $4 for his book. We went up to the counter, it was 50 cents. I think another thing is great for the thrift shops and it's for people probably just starting a new van and they need um, like maybe pots and pans or plates, cutlery, cups. Going to a thrift store you can get nicer thing for just as cheap. At the end of the day it is reusing and recycling and funneling money into a better cause. The last thing I did want to mention, there's also a website called TradeMe.com and if you're looking for something very, like if you're looking for something specific, you bid for it or you buy it out and then they'll mail it to you. And good for if you want to sell stuff as well, make yeah. a little bit of money. If you're on the road and you need a little bit of extra cash and you have extra things, but if there's something else, I will sell it online. If you liked this video, let us know if you have any other tips that you would add. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe and see you in the next one. The next video. Over and out.